If you want to jailbreak your PS Vita 1000, it's also called the OLED PS Vita, but you don't have a PS Vita memory card. This video will show you how to jailbreak your PS Vita 1000 without a memory card. However, if you do have a memory card, then you should follow this video on the screen. There are fewer steps that you have to deal with in this case. So if you don't have a Vita memory card, then this SD2 Vita adapter is mandatory for you. Otherwise, you will not have any space to store any games on your Vita. This SD2 Vita adapter card will allow you to use a micro SD card with your PS Vita. Ok, now let's jailbreak your Vita 1000 without a memory card. First, go to the setting and make sure your Vita is connected with internet. Next, go to the internet browser. and type in the address as I show on the screen. Press the enter button, now we will get into this page. Press unlock my Vita, then press unlock. Then it will take us into this screen. On this menu, make sure you select replace near with Vita Deploy, then press button X. There are more messages will show up here. Then press the square button. Now the process is started, it will take a while. Once it's done, the system will reboot it. Then go to the internet browser again. It will load up this screen automatically. So press unlock my Vita and then click unlock. We were back to this menu again. So this time make sure you install the Hankaku from this menu. Then select Exit to get out of this screen. Next, go to Settings. And then click Hankaku Settings. Here we need to enable the unsafe homebrew. Then press the PlayStation button and we can go back to the home page. Then click the VDEP app on the home screen. Once you get into this screen, then select miscellaneous here. Inside this menu, just select create an internal memory card. After you get this message, just press X button. On this menu, make sure you select the third one, default 2xx storage configuration. Then press button X. This process will be done in a few seconds, then we can reboot the system again. Then go to settings and click format. Then select format memory card. Press next, then press format. Press yes and press yes again to format memory card. Once it's done, the system will reboot. Then go to settings. and the system, system information. Then under the memory card, it will show we have around one gigabyte free space. So at this point, we have created an internal memory card inside your PS Vita 1000. With this internal memory card we just created inside your PS Vita, now we can jailbreak your PS Vita 1000 without an actual memory card. Ok, now let's go back to the home screen. Then open up the internet browser. And we will get back to this screen. Just click unlock my Vita. Then click unlock. Once get into this menu, first install the Hankaku from here. Then install the Vita Deploy. This will take 20 to 30 seconds. Once it's done, just select Exit to close this screen. Then go to Settings. Under Hankaku Settings, make sure Enable Unsafe Homebrew is checked. Then go back to the home screen and look for Vita Deploy. It should be on the last page. Once you get into the Vita Deploy, select Install a different OS. Then press Quick 3.65 Install. This process will take about 2 minutes. Once it's done, 
you will get into this message. Press button X to confirm this downgrade. After 20 seconds, then press button X again. Now the jailbreaking process is started. This will take about 2 to 3 minutes. Once the process is finished, the system will reboot it automatically. After the system is rebooted, just go to Settings, then System, System Information. The system software now should show as 3.65 being good dash 2. This means you have successfully jailbroken your PS Vita 1000 without a memory card. The SD2 Vita card will let you use a micro SD card to play all your games on your Vita. This is a must for all jailbroken PS Vita. Let's set it up in this section. If the SD2 Vita card has not been set up yet, we can see the system memory card capacity is only about 8GB here. This is our PS Vita memory card capacity right now. After we set up the SD2 Vita card in this section, the memory capacity on this page will be replaced with the capacity of your micro SD card. Before we begin this section, make sure your SD2 Vita card is inserted inside your PS Vita. Ok, now let's go to home screen and then Vita Deploy. Next, Miscellaneous. Then go to Format a Storage Device. Here, make sure the target is set to SD2 Vita. File system is TEXFAT. Then click Format Target Storage. Wait for about 10 seconds, it will show formatted. Then click OK. Now, just click Go Back and go back one more time. From here, click Reboot. After system rebooted, go to Settings. Then Device. Storage Device. Check Use YAMT. Then go back to Hankaku Settings. Select Reboot Device. After system rebooted, then go to Vita Deploy. File Manager. On this page, UXO is our PS Vita memory card. UMAO is our SD2 Vita card. We will move some files from UXO to UMAO. Make sure you follow my steps here. Press down on the D-pad and move to UXO. Then press button X. Inside UXO, press down on the D-pad one time. Then press the triangle button. Press button X, mark all. Then keep pressing down on the D-pad and go to SCEO Trash. Then press the square button, unselect SCEO Trash. Then press up on the D-pad once. Press triangle button. Then use down button, select copy, press button X, it should see copied 15 files. Press button X, close this message. Then press circle button, go back to the menu page. Then use D-pad, go to UMAO. Then press button X. Inside the UMAO, press down on the D-pad once. Then press the triangle button, select paste and press button X. Now all the 15 files are copied from UXO to UMAO. Once all files are copied over, now we can press the PlayStation button and close the Vita Deploy. Next, go to Settings, Device, Storage Device. On this page, we need to change UXO to SD2 Vita and change UMAO to memory card. Then press back button twice and go to Hankaku settings. Select reboot device. After Vita rebooted, just go to settings, system, system information. Now our SD card is show as our memory card. That means we can now install any games into our SD card from now on. 
That's all for the SD2 Vita card setup. Now let's get some powerful apps installed onto your Vita. This will bring your Vita gaming experience into next level. Go to Vita Deploy on your Vita. And then click App Downloader. There are a lot of apps here, but I will only recommend 4 of them here. They are essential for jailbroken PS Vita. The first one is called Vita Shell. This is the file manager. You can use this when you want to connect your Vita with a PC and transfer files between PC and PS Vita. The second is Vita DB Downloader. This app allows you to download homebrew apps onto your Vita directly. Think about this app like a Play Store on your Android smartphone. The third app is called Adrenaline. This is a very powerful app. It will let you play PS1 and PSP games on your Vita. The last app is PKGG. This is the most useful and powerful app for a jailbroken Vita. You can download PS Vita, PSP, and PS1 backup games from this app directly onto your Vita. Think about this as a free PlayStation Store. Then we can swipe back to top and click download the selected apps. The system is now downloading and installing the apps. Once it's done, we can press the PlayStation button and close this window. Now you should see all the apps that we just installed show up on the home screen. So first open up Vita Shell. Then press the start button. You will have this menu. Here we need to change USB device from memory card to SD to Vita. Next time when you connect your Vita with a PC, you can transfer files between your micro SD card and the PC. Now we can close Vita Shell. Next, go to PKGG. After you open this app, nothing will show up. But if you press the triangle button, then go to Refresh and click Cross button, you will see a huge list of PS Vita titles show up. This is entire library for the PS Vita backup games. It's just on your fingertip now. All PS Vita games that are installed from PKGG app will show up on your home screen. For the PlayStation 1 game library, press triangle button. Then on this pop-up menu, select Show PSX Game. Press button X. Now all PS1 backup games are in front of you. To access PSP backup game library, press the triangle button. On this menu, select Show PSP Games, then press button X. Now all PSP games are yours. The PS1 and the PSP games that are installed from PKGG will show up in your Adrenaline app. If this is your first time to open Adrenaline app, you will get this message. Just press button X to download the PSP firmware here. After the downloading is complete, it will close automatically. Then just open up Adrenaline again. Once you get this message, press button X to install PSP firmware. It will take about 30 seconds. Then you will get this message. It says the firmware has been installed successfully. Now press button X. The system will boot into the PSP environment. Here is the same process when you set up your PSP first time. Once you go through all the setup, now the system are fully booted into the PSP environment. If we go to the memory stick, all the PS1 and PSP games that were installed from PKGG app will show up here. You can launch all your PS1 and PSP games from here. If you want to close the Adrenaline app, just double press on the PlayStation button, then you can fully exit the PSP environment. Here is a very handy trick for the PS1 game. If your PS1 game only shows a small area on the screen, you can hold down the PlayStation button for 5 seconds. Then you will get this menu. Press the settings here. Go to open official settings. Then other settings. Under screen mode, 
we can swipe between each mode. I think keep the PS1 game on custom looks pretty good. That's pretty much all for this whole video. If you reached the end of this video, you are now a hero of PS Vita Jailbreaker. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Happy gaming!